Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of What's Next in Raid. While we may not have anything quite as big as Live Arena this time around, we've still got some pretty sweet features to show off. Let's get this show on the road. Firstly, as promised, the opportunity to ascend your accessories just like artifacts is coming soon. The core mechanics of ascension will be the same, except you'll need a different resource called extract instead of oil. In a nutshell, accessories of any rarity that are at least rank 4 and level 12 can be ascending using extracts. That unlocks a single bonus stat that increases with each new ascension level, complementing your bling with a lovely little stat boost for the champion wearing that accessory. That's pretty much it. But where do we get these magical extracts? El Name the Sand Devil now has a partner in crime. The Phantom Shogun's Grove is where you'll find these extracts. But like every other dungeon, there's someone there to stop you. Akumori the Phantom Shogun. He won't just let you take his stuff and run. Coming straight out of Shadowkin and Sylvan horror stories, this badass undead Daimo has a few choice words for would-be thieves. He comes fully armed with a new debuff and some unique mechanics that will force you to improvise and adapt on the fly. We'll release a separate feature guide video that will explain the strategy for this fight in greater detail, but here are a few appetizers. First up, Akumori has a shiny new toy, a new debuff called Enfeeble. Any champions under this debuff can only deal weak hits. Ouch. And the more weak hits Akumori receives, the higher his special shade counter goes. Double ouch. As you have probably guessed, that's bad. Very bad, in fact. It increases Akumori's critical rate and critical damage, makes him immune to a bunch of effects, and sets him up to deliver devastating single-target nukes that ignore protective buffs. That's without mentioning the fact that once the shade counter is almost full, Akumori begins to ignore 100% of your champion's death as well. Triple ouch! This fearsome Phantom Shogun also has a block passive skills to buff on one of his skills. Fun, or maybe not so fun fact, this is the first boss in Raid that's able to place block passive skills. Don't underestimate it. Losing those sweet passive skills at a critical moment is going to hurt. It's not all pain and suffering, though. Remember that shade counter? Well, Awakened Champions can lower that counter with their skills, so make sure to bring a few along for the fight. There's more good news, too. Akumori is one of the few bosses who doesn't have multiple AoE attacks. So champions that can use taunt can distract the big guy from the squishier members of your team. And, as always, cleansers and champions who can block debuffs are going to be a must, especially to keep that nasty new and feeble debuff off your team. But that's enough about the Phantom Shogun's Grove. Keep an eye out for our feature preview in the future, and we'll take you on a proper deep dive. For now, let's move on and see what else Raid has in store. It has been quite a while since we released the Sylvan Watchers, and we've added to their faction over time. By now, you've collected and leveled up some of these enigmatic forest warriors, so it's only fitting they finally join faction wars with a crypt of their own. Don't expect any surprises or unique changes. We're going the same route as we did with the dwarves in Shadowkin, so all previous rewards except for Lydia the Death Siren remain the same. And when the Sylvan Watcher's Crypt is added to the game, you get more milestones to conquer in Faction Wars. Lydia will remain the ultimate reward, though. If you already reached but forgot to claim her, don't worry. She'll be sent straight to your inbox when these changes go live. If you are still some stars short when the update hits, you'll need to complete the new Crypt to earn her. So, get moving. Speaking of collecting champions, the roster of champions in Raid has certainly grown in size, so we have prepared an awesome quality of life update to the champion's filter. Behold! Available both in your collection and on the Battle Select screen, this filter will allow you to browse through your champions using more filters than before. We've made it super easy for you to get to the champions you want to use for each game mode. For starters, you can just type the champion's name in this field. Yeah, that easy. You don't even need the full name, just a few letters will do. Then you have the most basic options to select champions who match a certain rarity, affinity, rank, and type. So, if you want to see all your legendary magic attack champions of rank 5 and above, you can do that. Want to see those same champions that belong to one or several specific factions? No problem, we've got that covered as well. You can make it even more specific by searching for champions with a specific type of aura skill. And we're not just talking select champions with an increase attack aura, oh no. You'll be able to specify whether it's an attack increase in arena, dungeons, and so on and whether it applies to all allies or just a specific affinity. Neat, right? 
What? Not enough for you? All right. How about choosing champions who can apply specific buffs or debuffs? You can pick multiple options from the selection, and the filter will bring up all champions you have who can dish those effects out. And just in case that's still not enough for you, we have the same options for instant effects too, such as healing, turn meter manipulation, manipulating buff or debuff duration, etc. Finally, we've not forgotten champion tags. You can add those to your filter parameters as well. All in all, we tried to make the champion's filter as comprehensive as possible, and it will ensure that team building is easier than ever before, especially for those of you who already have hundreds of champions in your collection. Let's move on to one of the updates coming a bit further down the line. We have a new activity in store for clans, the Hydra Clash. It kind of works like a mini tournament between clans that starts every week and provides players with an extra source of goodies. Because who doesn't love more goodies, right? The roles are simple enough. Five clans are matched against one another, and whichever clan deals the most damage to the Hydra and earns the most clash points wins. Simple. How do you earn these clash points? Smack that Hydra's head as hard as you can, and use multipliers to your advantage. These multipliers appear on the first battle for each difficulty, with the multiplier increasing as the difficulty ratchets up. Of course, no one will get to be sneaky and reap the rewards of their clan's hard work unless they participate. Players need to reach a certain damage milestone before they are eligible to receive any of the chests that are available through the Hydra Clash. What's more, the size of the reward directly depends on how much they contributed to the clan's performance. You'll need to put in a shift to earn the rewards. While we do have rewards for the second and third places, you'll definitely want your clan to coordinate and grab that top spot. Now, let's take a look at the goodies that await you inside those chests. Protection and Stone Skin Accessories Protection accessories will be unique to the Hydra Clash and, as the name suggests, they are going to complement the good old protection set, bringing the overall number of items and bonuses to a whopping 9. But first things first. We're going to adjust the balance for this set a little. Namely, we're increasing the chances of buff protection when you have 4 and 6 pieces equipped to 25% and 50% respectively. On top of that, you can get 20 more points of resistance, 8% more speed, and increase your chances of protecting buffs the wearer casts to 75% with the full set. Not only that, but we're adding another new effect for the full set. Champions will deal 5% more damage for each buff placed on them by a champion with the full protection set. This is a must for support champions. Allowing them to place and protect buffs is a big deal, as well as increase the damage output for other champions. Then, we have Stone Skin Accessories. The new bonuses are as follows. 8% more HP for 7 pieces of the set equipped, extra 40 points of resistance for 8, and for the full set, we're increasing the shield granted at the start of each round from 50% of your champion's HP to 75%. If you want to really ruin an opponent's day, a couple of champions with full protection and stone skin sets will ensure that your precious buff combo is almost completely untouchable. We're coming to the end of the video, so we'll wrap up with our traditional parade of upcoming champions. The Gallon Pack's getting some sweet new legendaries, including a fiery salamander warrior, a vicious and ferocious orc, and a terrifying ogren chieftain. Outside of the Gallon Pact, there's plenty more coming, including a pious Templar of the Sacred Order. The pipeline is stocked full of awesome champions on the horizon, so keep your eyes peeled on our social media for their arrival in game. And that's everything we have to show you this time around. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you're excited about these upcoming additions to the game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be kept up to date on all things raid. In the meantime, happy raiding!